There's a certain question that occasionally people ask me. It's not all that common, but it's it's so weird and so funny that I just have to talk about this. They ask me how I can metaphysically ground my objective morality. Something like that. Like this idea that Oh, well, if there's no God to decide which human is right or wrong, if two dis the, their reasoning goes like, if two humans disagree, well, who says who's right? And their, and their answer is, well, God, of course. And I'm like, well, what determines that God is right? I mean, that, that's something that is a little bit weird to me. And honestly, um, if there was a debate, between um, a pro-lifer and a pro-choicer, you know, especially a very public um, debate recorded, and God uh, existed and and came and and told them, well, I'm God, and I say that this person is right and this person's wrong. Now. That would be very interesting. I would totally have to change everything about my worldview and the way I think if such a thing happened like that. Um, but this idea that you have to metaphysically ground um, something that you believe to be true. Like, um, what's up with that? Like, I don't see anybody going to the Christians or the Muslims, or the Hindus, or the Jainists, and and saying, how do you metaphysically ground your belief in God, or Allah, or Krishna, or the living soul uh, inside the rock? Like, come on! Nobody asks these other people of these different religions. They don't ask them to metaphysically ground something. Now, I only get a question like that from Christian apologists, and I'm like, I'm either too dumb or too smart to understand the question.